But I've I've never done Atacon before. I've never played Atacon. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so if, if I would have chose the Scourge, they would have stunned the Scourge. Yes, this is awesome. <laughs> 33 and then 61. Oh, that was awesome. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Aphelios LeBlanc, our last random champion deck of the week. This one was uh, kind of a fun one to build around. Uh, what we're going to do here is something a little more janky. Now, this is probably isn't going to be the, the most competitive Aphelios LeBlanc deck, but I wanted to play a cool combo. And what that is, is think about LeBlanc. LeBlanc usually, you know, deals with a lot of damage and, and reputation right like with the five plus power thing striking and so we're gonna have we're gonna be playing a reputation deck you can see here crescent guardian can turn into a five three leblanc uh, then of course like a lot of other five plus power um units right so we're going to be playing reputation once we have reputation enabled then we can have black rose spy black rose spy when it's summoned transform me into an exact copy of the strongest ally that struck this round so we're going to be trying to do is build a deck with a lot of like cool top end things with Black Rose Spy. We can copy these and get, you know, a big furious in another Enviolus Vox or Eclipse Dragon or Mind Splitter. Or if we're lucky, we're going to try to copy Otacon. Because, right, if we can get Otacon in play, attack with this, make it super big, and then have Black Rose Spy copy Otacon. Now, uh, so yeah, so that's what that's the plan. Now, the reason why Aphelios is in, you know, the reason why this works with Aphelios better is, is of course, because Aphelios is making these moon weapons, and we have one specific moon weapon, the Crescendum, that summons a two-cost follower from the deck. Well, we're going to play Black Rose Spy as our only two-cost follower in the deck, and therefore the Crescendum will always get Black Rose Spy. So we don't even have to have Black Rose Spy in our hand. We can use Crescendums to go get it. But basically, we can, like, have Atacon, attack with it, you know, it does damage, and then we can like summon Black Rose Spy from our hand, play Crescendum, get other Black Rose Spies, we can make a whole bunch of Atacons. I don't know if that's ever going to work, it probably won't, it sounds a little meme tier and janky, but we're going to try it out, and you know, maybe we copy a bunch of dragons, because dragons are cool, um, so we can do that also. Uh, we're going to be a slow deck, as you can see, basically nothing with one or two, uh, but it's especially how we don't want to play Black Rose Spy around two. So we just have the Dustbringer, but we're going to be saving up our spell mana the first two rounds, and we're going to have a lot of power coming in here. We're also going to have a good amount of lifesteal, right? Sunforger has lifesteal, plus we can have like Bloody Business, Whirling Death, these kind of cards that are great with Sunforger. So that's going to help us stabilize once, because we're going to be behind right away. And then, of course, Aphelios also, you know, giving lifesteal. So Aphelios can give like these big dragons lifesteal and uh, help us uh, stabilize back from, you know, since we were probably going to be getting killed right away so that's going to be our goal let's let's see if we can ever get some cool black rose spy shenanigans with this aphelios leblanc deck here we go okay zareth zillion we got landmark control for our first deck and we are going to mulligan all right better looking hand they don't usually play a ton of removal, so Bloody Business should be pretty safe. Alright, good. And yeah, I can just kind of trade with the 2 1. Would have been nice to have it the round before, but life's not always perfect. Time to make an appearance. You leave me no 
recourse. I could wait around for the Sunforger so that we can have Sunforger plus bloody business. I think I'm just going to go ahead and play the Sunforger, though. Shining gifts from the sky. We probably don't need to heal our Nexus that much. Well, that's quite unfortunate. That's a great answer to our Sunforger. Now it doesn't have life steal anymore. So, Atacon increases, in, whenever it attacks, increase my power by the total power of all allies. So, it counts itself, so it has 5. Like, like let's say we just play Atacon right here and attack, it would increase by 15, because it would be 5, 10, 15. So, it would be a 20 power. Like, if we just played Atacon right here and attacked, it would be 20 power. I would like to try to kill that Zareth, please. A moment in time to be served. Forge ahead. You again? All right, good. So that's going to level up LeBlanc, so LeBlanc won't just die to. A landmark getting destroyed. Again, going to be trying to kill the Zareth. All right, good. Good, good, good. No, Atacon. Oh, we got a new Atacon. Really? I'm kind of new that was going to happen. Gonna catch the sky. Yeah, you're all about catching stuff. Hold my work. There's no escape. Maybe I should be playing that Sigil of Mouse. Maybe I should just take the three damage. Then I take three damage, I can play the Eclipse Dragon. That's probably what I should be doing. Dragon. Ooh. So we can mirror image like Kadragrin or the Scourge. Alright, I'm just gonna pass. I I don't really want to trade that for the Emma's Devout and give them another landmark to blow up. We'll do, we'll block with that. But yeah, we could have Kadragrin and then mirror image of the Kadragrin. But then there's also Atticon next round. Oh, there's too many cool things to mirror image. We can mirror image this thing. We can mirror image that thing. I think we probably have to go Atticon. I mean, the Scourge giving them giving everything plus two plus two overwhelm. That's pretty incredible. <laughs> Seven out of four. But I've I've never done Atacon before. I've never played Atacon. <laughs> Let's go. 
All right, so if, if I would have chose the Scourge, they would have stunned the Scourge. Yes, this is awesome. <laughs> 33 and then 61. Oh, that was awesome. The first attack ability happens first with the Ephemeral, and so it gets the plus 28. And so then it's so then it's 33. And now the next one happens, it gets that again plus 28, but then also the plus 33. Oh man. That was cool. 61 power. Alright. Our deck is awesome. Even if we lose the other four games, we at least had that really cool game. We got Lurkers. We're actually probably a really poor deck against Lurkers because against Lurkers, you just need bodies in play. And our deck doesn't really have bodies. Right? Like we have we have a small amount of bodies, but they're really big. But lurkers are good against really big because their power like the power keeps increasing with the lurkers. So you'd rather have like a whole bunch of like smaller bodies against the lurkers than a few big bodies. And unfortunately we have the few big bodies. Yes, this one's gonna be a little rough for us. That's alright. We got to do double Atacon last game. I've never even attacked with an Atacon before. So I'm happy. Wow, they just had Rek'Sai on top? <laughs> They're getting some luck. Don't believe Obviously, I don't want to play this right now, but we kind of have to. Yeah, Atacon is permanent. It's it's in, just increase increase this singular Atacon's power permanently. All right, I love that we have a second Sun Forger. Getting the three plus ones was pretty rough. Also have Sunforger next round. Channel our power. Even though it may just Ooh, no blocks at all. It's unexpected. Blocks at all. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Okay. Behold my work. So go down to three. It's a good time to play Whirling Death, but I, I think that they have the Pike spell, and so I kind of have to wait. Okay, they didn't play it. Because I feel like if I play Whirling Death and they just play the, the Pike spell, then I die on the spot. And so I kind of thought that maybe they would play it. They could have lethal by playing it. If they had it. Maybe that's just too greedy of me. Maybe I need to just whirling death. I don't know. Double whirling death now? That's good, that's good. Alright, I'm passing. So that we can you know, even up on mana again, because I attack, they you know, they have all that mana, they get to play stuff afterwards. Let's Oh, 
what is this thing turns into? Something super big. I wish one of these was the... Not the Whirling Death, the other version. So I'm going to need all of these. I'm going to need Sharpen Resolve and Whirling Death and Whirling Death. So big, so fast. Focus on me. Nope, wrong card. Wow, Pike is ten power. Pretty great hand. Hitting Rek'Sai round one. And then, you know, also having Pike, having a lot of Rek'Sai. They had a really great hand. This is what I mean about having just a bunch of small bodies, right? Because these things are bigger than dragons, even. They just need a lot of small bodies for this matchup. We have Timo Caitlin now. Okay. We'll keep Aphelios with the Sunblessed Vigor to protect Aphelios. Or we could go Crescent Guardian. Please pass. Again, we're very slow deck, very good. amount of our units. They probably don't have two Mystic Shots, right? This time we make things right. One of those. I don't know what to play. Obviously, we can just attack. I guess I'm just kind of playing like regular Crescent Guardian. I don't think I really want to play re regular Aphelios. I don't really want to play the Sunforger here. Uh, this is kind of the problem with playing Otacons and Infinite Mind Splitters, is sometimes you just draw all of them at the beginning of the game. So it hurts that this doesn't help reputation. Coming through! Solving crimes! Wow. What a treat. Wow. Talk about a card that's great against me and great against the Crescent Guardian I just played. I didn't even know people played that card. Man, this tough places bring tough. We're not We're not doing good. Alright, so I'm getting Calibrum to be able to shoot one of these Sting Officers. 
My plan is next round lead with Lifesteal Sunforger. I mean, I'd like to trade there, but they're just going to use spells, but oh well. Wasted effort. I'm going to force them to use spells. You know, they'll just use like Troll Chance and Brittle Steel and all that kind of stuff. Like, all that stuff would be good at all, all times anyway. Now at least this thing has three power, so it makes attacking with these a little better. And my faith are one. Of course, we can also shoot Justice Rider. Just a girl, her motorcycle, and justice. Wow, what a hand against me! Channel our power. I I have to shoot one of these sting officers. Try and keep up. Ooh, that's great. It's done. Calibre. All part of the plan. Gotta keep these justice riders in play. I think they would just attack. We have so many flash bombs and we're not drawing any. We're about to hit like six flash bombs on one card. News from the Undercity Shift, Detective Zane. It's all in the report, Sheriff. Should pay off nicely. I'm thinking step ahead. block and sharpen resolve. They probably have an answer, but let's force them to have an answer. Whoa, they don't have an answer. Alright, well these flash bomb traps are gonna kill all my stuff, but still it's been working pretty well. I wish we could see how we've been doing with, with reputation. I think only two reputation hits right now. Because if it's three, I could play Vox, hit with Vox, Crescendo, make a new Vox. We can't. We don't really have room for all these cards anyway. Time to make an appearance. What if we have? Like the two drop on top that has like just a ton of Maybe it has a ton of these flash bombs. And so they go you know, they just go away by putting this into play. sense to play this right now. Because it's just going to die to flash bombs. We're just going to have all this stuff's just going to die to flash bombs. Like, we're going to hit a lot of flash bombs here. <laughs> and there's four. Yeah, that's why I did not make sense to play that Crescendum. On foot. Stay still. Stay aside. I don't know what is it worth. 
Duke. Setting up a roadblock. All right, now we should have Nightfall enabled. Found me. Activate all traps. Ha! Doesn't kill it yet, but about to whenever we draw our next, you know, next round whenever we draw a bunch of cards. Close. terrible for me. I need that thing to strike. Yeah, they just got me. This is the downfall of having a lot of expensive cards. It is Hexcore Foundry. This card is awesome against expensive cards. And just this strategy. We're running into between Lurkers and Hexcore Foundry. We're really running into some strategies that are great against us. And that the Karina like won them this game, right? The Karina killing my infinite mind splitter. That was really clutch. But also, they just had a, a great hand against us, too, with the Sting Officers and the 3-4s. Everything lined up perfectly for them. And that's going to happen sometimes. Sometimes things line up for you really well, which is like the first game, everything lined up for us. Sometimes everything lines up for the opponent, and that was this game. I am getting stuff out of my... This will be my magnum opus. All right, one and two. Let's see, we have some weaknesses. Lurkers and Hexcore Foundry. All right, we found another Dragon Targon deck. You really do, they really do pair you against you, like the same kind of decks, right? Like I haven't played against a Dragon Targon deck in forever, but we play a Dragon Targon deck and immediately we play against another one. It's pretty funny. All right, we'll just keep the Sunforger. I could see keeping the gifts from beyond, actually. Um, depending on what they have, because I, I could see like the gifts from beyond with the deal three damage uh, to a follower being a nice card to have. You know, they have like mountain goats and stuff like that. It also is a good Nightfall enabler, which is very nice for Aphelios and Present Guardian. This round is go Calibrum, then Aphelios. It doesn't matter what we choose there. Could also Whirling Death right here. We feel like that's a better option. No. Sorry. Mm. 
falls, the moon rises. We want to save our crescentums for later. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Good card. That that's a good card that to help out if Elios right here. That helps us double spell. Not a good card. We were peaceful once. I'm gonna save the three spell mana to have Whirling Death <coughs> available with the Envious Fox. That attack really helps out my reputation. Get a good Crescent Guardian hit in, and it's still alive. So I can do an additional two points of damage to them, put them down to ten. Six. No, put them down to nine. Dude, three po three additional points of damage. If I whirling death here, and it would keep the Crescent Guardian alive, and we create a dragon. But good chance that I'm gonna regret not having this removal spell for something else that's more important. But we create a dragon, do 3 damage, and keep a 5-1 Overwhelm alive. He also does quite a bit. Only a fool would enter battle of the pair. Okay, got another one. Bask in her radiant blessing. Possible they grabbed like a you know six mana obliterate, but now they don't get to cast that. Yuck. That hurts. That hurts. Or bird. Back heretic. Cadragrin. Reality is just your mind crumbling under what it doesn't understand, silly. We a dragon deck. I think that they have the six mana obliterate. <clears throat> and so I play infinite mind splitter, they obliterate it. But to be fair, I have another Infinite Mind Splitter. We have a Cadrigan. Yeah, that's them not obliterating this Vox. I think that's okay. Oh, they do go after the Vox. Well, I can keep stunning stuff, if you like your stuff being stunned. Hey, I'm cool with that. Another meteor shower. Oh. 
So we do have to worry about Aurelian Soul's champion spell. Um, they only have one messenger in play. Like that, that could be a card they could have. I think it makes sense for me to continually play stuff instead of open attacking. Probably playing what? Like Sunforger? Sunforger, Sunforger. Playing Otacon? It's a lot of power. They are a hush deck, though. So it may just play, like, play Otacon, they hush, and then it's not that great. But. I didn't come here not to play Otacon. We're not playing this game to not... Pl We're not playing this deck to not cast our Otacons. We're casting this. We're bringing the Ruin. Her light is our sword. Her walk, our eyes. Focus on me! It's alright. It'll have plus 22, plus 0 next time. We got two hushes out of their hand. We actually, we got to attack with Otacon the first game. Yeah, he does count himself. Yep. The first game, we, we played Otacon and we had uh, from... LeBlanc, you know, LeBlanc makes the Black Rose, or makes this thing, Mirror Image. We got to Mirror Image Otacon, and we had two Otacons in play, and it was glorious. Speaking of two Otacons in play, and it being glorious. Ah, oh, they gave up! No! No! We're going to have so much power with two Otacons. Whoa, Sivir Zed. This deck's not dead. Sivir Zed. All right, so Sivir Zed is very aggro. That, of course, bad for us. Because we very slow. Good hand though. As far as hands are concerned. Step lightly. We will resist. Yeah, at least they're not gonna be rallying. That's it's true, but everything's gonna have vulnerable. And that's not cool. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. Don't too slow, stupid. Any news? I think that's vulnerable. I don't want the Aphelios really to have vulnerable. Do not fear the shrouded path. I walk your path alone. You wanna catch the sky? That's the correct way to do it. Opponent is smart. Hoping they challenge us with that, of course. Well, not a bad hand, Treasure Seeker. I don't really see any of these helping out. Not a bad hand by them. You know, one drop, two drop, three drop. Three drop being Zed, attacking on three. Basically impossible to cast four moon weapons. You 
see, but you cannot grasp. Only the worthy survive. Looking like this is going to be our first deck that we're not going to get a winning record with. And that's game. I can block, doesn't matter. These are seven. Oh, yes, it does matter. It's not game. Because I was going to say, like, that's just double attack, so it kills us. But that doesn't kill us. That's not how that works. Because that double attack, the ephemeral. Doesn't actually have double attack. Cannot win. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Like that Merciless Hunter also having the quick attack. That's four moon weapons if we find a Pelios. I can't save the Fuse Firebrand anyway. But I can... At least kill that thing. That gives me two and... Number two and number three. Still have to somehow deal with this Zed, and... I'm not sure how we're doing that yet. Okay. Light is our sword, her womp our armor. Heal my nexus a little bit. Just a little bit. Heal my nexus just a little bit. I don't think that this lifesteal is going to stay on forever. It should just be lifesteal this round. If we black rose by the Sunforger, that's how it should be. But you never, I guess you never know. Um, but that's how it should be. No, come on. Uh. Knowledge is wealth, and I am rich. See, if they would have played like this thing to try to block and trade, you know, I'd still be able to some some less bigger keep it alive. All right, Zed does what Zed does. No removal for Zed. No whirling deaths or bloody business. You know, I didn't see a single any any of those. And man, if I had Mind Splitter last round. Well, I had that last round. All right. Well. If only. Because then, you know, like, being able to play this, be able to play that last round, like, that would have probably been game winning if I played this last round and then we would have, like, the life steal this round. Like, we would have been good. Well, alright. Down to one. One's not dead. One. No, come on! Oh, we were so close to the last card. Why couldn't it just been another unit? Because we, we maybe kill them next round with Atacon. 
Exact lethal. Okay, so Aphelios LeBlanc still put up a lot of uh, a lot of close games. You know, we we did run into like two two really tough matchups with uh, the Lurkers and the Hexcore Foundry. We saw like those those specific strategies are are good against us, and you know we knew that we weren't going to be great against everything. But we are still pretty good against just decks that are just playing units and attacking. We honestly were good against with uh, having, you know, just really good blockers in the mid game as long as we could kind of survive. Even that last game against Zed, we put up a real good fight with no bloody business, no whirling death, right? None of these things for, for removal. We still put up a really good fight. And uh, if that very last card wasn't a pump spell, we may have been able to steal that with the help of infinite mind splitter or like that but if definitely if the card before if like those last two cards we drew were flipped like if we would have drawn the infinite mind splitter one round earlier we definitely would have won that game so really so still very close so that was cool we got to do um with our both of our wins we got to do double otacon cool stuff uh so definitely happy about that happy we got to do some otacon stuff eventually you know at at any point because uh yeah, that's all I wanted to do, right? And <laughs> we were able to do it. This kind of deck, if you want to try, you know, if you want to change up the champions and stuff, this kind of deck is, is great with Aurelian Soul. Uh, Aurelian Soul is a really good one to copy with the Black Rose Spy. So you can also do that with um, Aurelian Soul instead of Otacon. And you can play Aurelian Soul earlier with Eclipse Dragon, right? So you can play instead of having to wait till round 10. So you can have like Eclipse Dragon into Aurelian Soul. And you could, you could do that kind of stuff as well. All right, but that's going to be it for Aphelios LeBlanc and just random champion casual Friday. Hopefully y'all enjoyed having the wheel, uh, spinning the wheel to determine our champions this time instead of the random number generator. Let me know what y'all think about that. And also just all the decks. Hopefully y'all just saw some really cool games and just got some new ideas for building new decks because that's what it's all about. Uh, you know, finding all sorts of new combinations and having fun and exploring Legends of Runeterra. All right, that's it for Aphelios LeBlanc. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.